Next game, uh, Saints at the Lions. Uh, the sign open up Saints minus five and a half. It's down the four. So looking like some sharp money coming in on the Lions, uh, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, so who do you like this game? Yeah, if you'll remember last week, I said I didn't want to play the Saints against the Packers, and um, I ended up going with the Packers plus three. Um, and I was kind of hoping that the Packers would end up beating them outright and covering, which is what they did, because this is a great time to play the Saints, in my opinion. I mean, they didn't match up very well against the Packers um, without Michael Thomas, I thought. Uh, they had Alvin Kamara, who had an incredible game and won me a very important game in my fantasy league that I was trailing by quite a bit of points in. Um, so thank you for that, Alvin Kamara. But <laughs> aside from him, they didn't really have a ton to attack the Packers with. They still were able to score 27 points, keep themselves in the game until that Taysom Hill fumble that you referenced. So um, I feel like a lot of people were just surprised that they lost um, and didn't really look into how that game actually unfolded. Um, so now they're being underrated a little bit against the Lions. And they match up very well with the Lions. The Lions are a bottom five run defense. Um, they're not going to be able to contain Alvin Kamara at all. And then you've got Latavius Murray, who was pretty good between the tackles against the uh, Packers. So they could just ride those two guys a lot of the day. And if they get Michael Thomas back, this pass offense should be in much, much better shape because the Lions have – good players in the secondary, but they're not healthy back there. And I don't know if Desmond Trufant's supposed to come back this week. I know Jeff Akuda also got banged up last week after playing his first action. So that's something to keep an eye on for sure. Um, if they're both playing, then I like the Saints a little less in that area, but I'm going to like them no matter what in this game because they have the they have the motivation to win this game. They've lost two in a row, and the Lions are coming off of like a surprise road win over the Cardinals. So they could come out a little flat being like, hey, we just beat one of the better teams in the NFC. Um, but then, of course, they come home and play another very good team um, in their home stadium. So I like the Saints here. Um, minus four, I think, is a solid number. Probably go three or four units on them. I just I like fading the Lions because I don't think their defense is very good. Um, and even though they can keep pace on offense, I think uh, we've seen the Saints at times this year been able to make plays. Um, they did it against Tom Brady, and if they can do it against Matthew Stafford, they should win this game, I think, easily. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm definitely going to be on the Saints with you. Um, what you said about Desmond Trufant is, is definitely important. So we'll, we'll see what his injury uh, situation is as well as Okuda's. Um, if two of their corners are out along with Justin Coleman, um, that means that that you're going to have Drew Brees and Michael Thomas potentially and, and then all the other weapons the Saints have against uh, Detroit secondary that's banged up. So that's a big advantage for the Saints. And yeah, Drew, Bley, Drew Brees losing two games in a row is is pretty big. He's nineteen and eight against the spread uh, off two consecutive losses. So like it kind of makes sense, you know. Like I, I don't like trends usually, but it makes you know it's it's pretty logical to bet. Uh, good, first of all, good quarterbacks just off a single loss, but then off two losses, like he, they're going to be very motivated, like you said. Um, also the lions, we, we saw what Aaron Jones did to them uh, a couple weeks ago. So uh, like try good luck trying to stop Alvin Kamara. Like, it's, it's just not going to pan out for the, for the lions. Um, yeah. So I, I think this line is, is a bit too low. Um, if you think about it, like if, if that win over the Cardinals never happened, um, and the lions were still 0 two coming off that blowout loss to the Packers, what would the spread be? I think it'd be like six or something like that. So I, I think you, you might be looking at something like that uh, for this game. Uh, the computer, computer says it should be Saints minus five. So not a lot of value there, but it's, I still think it's it's a little shy of what it should be. So I'm, I'm going to be on the Saints. Uh, depending on what the injuries are, it could be uh, it could be a pretty high bet. Yeah, and I th I agree with the uh, with the six on the Saints if the Lions didn't win last week. And, you know, if the Saints had beaten the Packers too, like they weren't all that far away from having that happen. I think you could easily get to six. You could even convince me maybe it could go up to seven. So, uh, yeah, I think we're getting pretty good value here for sure. Yeah.